What's up? Michael Ladisa here with Harvest Music Studio. If you have come across this video, you're probably having trouble using Zoom for private music lessons, whether you're a student or a teacher, particularly on an iPad, iPhone, or other mobile device like an Android tablet or phone. I want to give you some simple instructions that are going to help fix these problems so you can get back to making music. Uh, the issue is what we call original sound. Uh, by default, Zoom has built-in noise suppression or noise cancellation features that would eliminate background noise. This is great for work meetings and family uh, phone calls, but this is not good if you're playing an acoustic instrument like a piano or a guitar or a violin. Uh, this noise suppression is going to treat that acoustic sound like it's some type of background noise and it's going to cancel it or, or muffle it and the person on the other end will not be able to hear the great music that you're making. The problem is that the original sound feature has to be enabled for the first time outside the context of an active meeting. So it's very difficult for me or your teacher to walk you through it if you're already signed into a lesson. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna show you how to set this feature up before logging into your lesson so that you can enjoy this feature. Let's, let me show you what I'm talking about. Here I have Zoom and I'm gonna join a meeting. All right, now inside this meeting, uh, if I look at the mute button, it doesn't look like it does on your laptop where you might have a, like a little arrow there where you drop down menu. It's either mute or unmute. And if you uh, go to the more in the menu bar, uh, you go to meeting settings, but there's, there's nothing in here that's really talking about the sound, all right? Uh, you can touch up your appearance and, and things like that, show meeting controls, but the sound option is not available. All right, so what I actually have to do is I have to end the meeting. And now, once I'm outside the meeting, I can tap more on the left-hand side. And then in the middle here, I have settings. And under the meeting settings, now we have three categories, audio, video, and general. So under audio, you see this use original audio. That's really small, but what it says is this will allow you to enable or disable original sound in a meeting. Original sound will disable noise suppression. So that's the feature we've been looking for that was not available before in our active meeting. So I'm gonna turn that on. And then I can simply come out and I can relaunch my meeting. Now, once inside my meeting, if I go to more, all of a sudden, whoa, there it is, right? Enable original audio. That's what we've been looking for. So it's not enabled yet. It's just an option. I have to touch on it. If you wanted to go ahead and turn off the original sound again, then you could, from the same menu, disable original sound. Well, I hope you found these instructions straightforward and simple to use, and then now you'll be able to get the best experience possible when using Zoom for private music lessons whether you're a student or a teacher. If you found this video helpful, I appreciate you go ahead and hit the like button below. Thanks for watching.